Fighter jets and pilots are essential components of war, and having the best fighter planes can significantly improve your chances of winning. The United States is currently and has been the leader in fighter jet technology for several decades. The fighter jet relies not only on firepower, but also on a few tactical additions. The plane's survival depends on its speed and maneuverability. Evasive maneuvers and technology are critical for pilot survival and giving them a tactical advantage over combatants. To better understand U.S. military fighter jets, we will divide them into several categories. It should be much easier to understand the purpose of each classification once you have a basic understanding of them. Strategic Fighter One of the most important fighter planes in any military is the strategic fighter. These long-range aircraft are typically well-armed and have a large range. They are among the fastest aircraft in the Air Force. Their primary mission is to infiltrate deep into enemy territory while maintaining combat air patrols in friendly territory. They can also travel far away from their home base. Initially, these were some of the heavier planes, but as new materials were introduced, they became significantly lighter and their range increased exponentially. Due to the vulnerability of bombers, strategic fighters are also used for escort missions, escorting bombers to their intended targets and protecting them from hostile aircraft. This classification includes the penetration fighter as well as the strategic fighter. They have arms that can help with ground attacks and protect the aircraft from ground-to-air missile strikes. One of their primary missions is to intercept approaching hostile aircraft. The North American P-51 Mustang was a popular strategic fighter during World War II. The XF-108 Rapier, which was designed for long-range interceptor missions, is another popular jet. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II and Supermarine Spitfire are two of the most well-known or infamous strategic fighters used by the United States military to date. Air Superiority Fighter these fighter jets mission is to establish air superiority in enemy airspace. The jets are agile and lightly armored with excellent maneuverability and offensive capabilities. During combat, these features keep them and the pilots safe. While many of these fighters are designed to gain air superiority, some modern versions serve a secondary purpose. The secondary function is to defend against air to surface attacks. They also have more powerful weapons, allowing them to attack strategic enemy points where fighter jets could be shot down. Air superiority fighters are similar to strategic fighter jets in that they are frequently used for escort missions and as interceptors. These are some of the most adaptable jets in the U.S. Air Force, capable of performing almost any mission over enemy territory. The United States Air Force currently operates two air superiority fighters, the 4th generation F-15 Eagle and the 5th generation F-22 Raptor. Heavy Fighter The heavy fighter plane was one of the most popular aircraft classes during World War II. These planes carry the most powerful weapons and can fly over long distances. The majority of them had twin engines and large crews to operate the machinery. The original plan was for them to be used as bombers. Many of these missions, however, failed due to a lack of maneuverability. They were easy targets for ground-based missiles. Many lives were lost because there were no significant defenses. Looking at the U.S. military, there is no specific niche for heavy fighter jets. However, the definition stated that having twin engines would classify a jet as a heavy fighter. The Lockheed P-38 Lightning, which saw significant service in all theaters of World War II and the Korean War, was perhaps the most successful heavy fighter used by the U.S. military. The P-61 Black Widow was another heavy fighter that played an important role during World War II. It was also the first aircraft in the United States to be officially designated as a night fighter. As technology advanced, the U.S. military shifted away from heavy fighters in favor of lighter aircraft with greater versatility. The U.S. military eventually retired the P-61 Black Widow in 1954. The F-82 is the last heavy fighter built by the United States. 
the aircraft was only used in the U.S. military after the Japanese surrendered. The twin Mustang was retired in 1953 and was replaced for escort duties only by the Republic F-84 Thunderjet. The Thunderjet was in service until 1974 when it was retired. Light Fighter When you hear the term fighter jet, one of the first things that comes to mind is the light fighter jet. The concept behind these jets is to strike a practical balance between cost, complexity, and overall weight. Light fighters, also known as light combat aircraft, are designed to provide exceptional performance while remaining cost effective. The light fighter puts a lot of emphasis on stealth technology, and the main goal is to make these planes as stealthy as possible. However, the cost of this technology frequently raises the price of the light fighter to an unaffordable level. To combat this, the United States military has begun to phase out manned light fighters in favor of fighter drones. Drones like the Reaper and Predator are becoming increasingly popular because they are less expensive than comparable manned jets and pose no risk to the pilot's life. The Northrop F-5 is the only light fighter still in service with the U.S. Air Force and Navy. It was first introduced in 1962, so it won't be long before it is phased out completely. According to the FAA, there are also 18 privately owned F-5s in the United States. Fighter Bomber The Fighter Bomber is a hybrid fighter jet that has been significantly modified to take the characteristics of a fighter plane and add some of the features found on bombers. Because of the roles it has been adapted for, it differs slightly from the traditional fighter and bomber. The fighter bomber was important during World War I, but its use has declined since the introduction of rockets. Modern guided missiles can be launched strategically and penetrate deep into enemy territory, serving the same purpose for which these planes were originally designed. With the introduction of more powerful jet engines in the 1950s and 1960s, the fighter bomber enjoyed a golden era. Because of these engines, aircraft could carry more weight and travel further into enemy territory. The Lockheed F-104 Starfighter, one of the most popular fighter bombers, was retired from U.S. military service in 1969. During the Vietnam War, fighter bombers such as the North American F-100 Super Sabre and McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II played an important role. However, due to the ever-changing nature of aerial warfare, the modern U.S. military no longer relies on these aircraft. The Super Sabre was retired in 1979, while the F-4 Phantom served in combat roles until 1996, with German and Japanese service continuing until 2016 and 2021, respectively. Until 2016, the Phantom also served as a target drone for the United States. Fighter Interceptor In terms of defensive missions, the Interceptor is one of the most popular modern aircraft. These fighters are primarily responsible for intercepting attacking enemy aircraft. The mission is to intercept enemy bombers and reconnaissance planes. The two types of fighter interceptors are light fighters and heavy fighters. Light fighters are designed for short missions, whereas heavy fighters are designed to intercept aircraft before they reach friendly territory. The F-106 Delta Dart was one of the first U.S. interceptor planes, with a lengthy development process. In August 1988, the F-106 was retired to make way for the more advanced F-15 and F-16 fighters. Because of its Mach 2.5 capability, the F-15 was one of the best interceptors. With the addition of air interdiction, the U.S. military upgraded the F-15 to create the F-15E Strike Eagle. Despite not being explicitly designed for this purpose, it retains many of its predecessor's interceptor functions. Prior to its retirement in 2006, the Grumman F-14 Tomcat served as an interceptor but was later converted to a heavy fighter after being outfitted with ground attack capabilities. All-Weather Fighter the all-weather fighter is a well-known fighter in the military. These jets have been modified to fight at night or in low-light conditions. Because of the design and nature of their missions, they provide a strategic advantage. 
Many of these fighters used radar to aid detection in low visibility and had instrument landing systems that made landing almost automatic. Several radar variants were tested, including the Doppler weather radar and the microwave landing system. The goal of these jets was to use stealth technology to approach the enemy at night or in bad weather. It made detection more difficult and enabled more strategic strikes. These jets also served as recon aircraft, assisting in the detection of enemy movements and targets. Reconnaissance Fighter The notorious spy plane is probably what many readers have been waiting for. These fighters are designed to be stealthy, allowing them to pass through enemy radar without being detected. They are built with cutting-edge features such as imagery intelligence and signal intelligence. These fighters were originally designed to scout enemy lines, and military forces relied heavily on them for vital intelligence. Scouting enemy positions was the main goal of these fighters, ensuring that strategic operations could be carried out without interruption. Because of this, these fighters were not heavily armed. The most famous reconnaissance aircraft is the Lockheed State Route 71 Blackbird, which was retired by the U.S. Air Force in 1998, while its equally infamous predecessor, the U-2, is still in service, albeit in a reduced capacity. Unfortunately, most of the U.S. military's reconnaissance fighter arsenal has been retired due to the introduction of satellite technology that can provide real-time imagery and data. Multi-Role Fighter One of the most versatile fighter jets in any military is the Multi-Role Fighter. It is used for air support, air-to-air -air combat, and aerial bombing. Many experts are still debating what exactly defines a multi-role fighter and which roles define it specifically. The F-16 is a multi-role fighter in the U.S. Air Force, but its primary designation is for air superiority. The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning is a multi-role fighter jet, 